Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. So join us as we put that power to the test here on KCHEP. Hello everyone, I'm Attorney Gabby Concepcion with Season 3 of KCHEP. Today, we are challenging a new set of contestants to see how much they know and how far they will go. So stick with us until the final week of this exciting competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Pero today, apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw nga na ito. And she's a student of UP Diliman. She previously studied BS Chemistry but shifted to BS Statistics. Parehong madali. She strives to be physically active by being a regular gym goer and an occasional jogger around the academic oval. She also likes listening to music and podcasts. Si Paolo naman ay isang third year communication student ng UP Diliman majoring in Bachelor of Arts in Journalism. For years, he has been immersing himself in the story of the community and continues to be the vanguard of truth through storytelling. He loves watching movies and documentaries, but with beer. Oh, di ba? Si Lester is a graduating history major from UP Diliman. Nasita na siya ni Prof. Neil. He calls himself a hustler, juggling three jobs as a news analyst, a tutor, and a volleyball coach. His hobbies include, of course, playing volleyball and watching movies and documentaries. And last but not least, we have Yobel, who is a graduating student taking up business administration. Her hobbies include playing various sports, watching Studio Ghibli movies, and reading self-help productivity books. When studying, she listens to jazz or lo-fi music, but her current playlists on repeat consists of chill OPM songs. So these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Diba, nandito ang ating mga suke. Unang-una na po si Professor Glessy Atienza of the College of Arts and Letters, UP Diliman. Nandito din si Professor Neil Santillan, nako, former chairperson lang naman ng UP Department of History. At nandito din si Assistant Professor Marla Endriga of the Department of Biology, UP Manila. At ngayon, contestants, handa na ba kayo for our first round? Correct answers here are 10 points each. So, get ready to buzz in and collect those points. So, ano pang iniintay natin? Let's begin. This is round one, question number one. What do you call the violently rotating column of air that ravaged Oklahoma and other U.S. states in April 2024? Lester. Tornado. Tornado is the correct answer, k -check. Question number two. What whitish metallic element shares its name with the horse of the Lone Ranger? Yes, Lester. Silver. Diba? Akala ko naman mag-uunahan kayo sa buzzer, diba? Hi-ho, silver away. Silver is the correct answer, k -check. Question number three. Named after the third most populous city in the United States, what is the title of the 1975 musical about the criminals of that city? Uh, Esther. New York. The answer is incorrect. Uh, Your bell. Chicago. Chicago is the correct answer. Kate check. Question number four. What do you call the presiding officer of the House of Representatives, just like Martin Romualdez? Uh, Naku, Paolo. House the Speaker. The Speaker of the House is the correct answer. K-check. Question number five. In April 2024, Egypt, Ethiopia, and Sudan agreed to resolve their conflict over which African river, which is the longest in the world? Lester. Nile River. The Nile River is the correct answer. k -check. Question number six. Daiki Hashimoto won the 2020 Olympic gold medal in the all-around event, as well as the horizontal bars in what sport? Lester. Gymnastics. Gymnastics is the correct answer. k -check. 
question number seven this time. In what island in the Visayas can you find Canlaon Volcano, which emitted more than Leicester? Negros Island. Canlaon uh, Volcano emitted more than 2,000 tons of sulfur per day in May 2024. The correct answer is Negros. Okay, check. Question number eight. In the NATO phonetic alphabet, what South African people stands for the letter Z or Z? Lester. Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is incorrect. The correct answer is Zulu. Question number nine. The album Eternal Sunshine debuted on... Yes, Lester. Ariana Grande. Are you a grand... What do you call Ariana Grande? Ariana Grand? or... Ariana. Yun. So, Ariana Grande is the female singer who recorded the album Eternal Sunshine, which debuted on March 2024. Ariana Grande is the correct answer, K. Chet. Question number 10. In geometry, this time, what is the area in square meters of a parallelogram whose height is 20 meters with a base of 12 meters? Your bell. 240 meters squared. 240 meters squared is the same as 240 square meters. K check. Question number 11. What flower is part of the name of the wars fought between the House of York and the House of Lancaster, Leicester? War of Roses. The War of the Roses is the wars fought between the House of York and the House of Lancaster in 15th century England. Okay, check. Question number 12 and the last question for this round. What city in Australia is famous for its opera house and harbour bridge? Leicester. Sydney. Sydney is the correct answer. K okay, check. And that's it for our first round. And after that first round, we have Lester in the lead with 80 points, followed by Yobel with 20 points, Paolo in third place with 10 points, and Ange with some catching up to do. So, ito na po ang portion ng ating show kung saan kinikilala natin ang ating mga contestants sa portion na tinatawag natin, Kay Chica. <laughs> so anyway, Ange, ano ba ang dahilan at gumagawa ka ng mga pagbabago sa buhay mo? You change courses, di ba? Dalawang mahirap na courses. Madaling courses pala. And now you're also taking steps toward fitness. Ano ba ang uh, mga moving factors para sa'yo? Nag-shift po ako ng course because I, I didn't see myself na pursuing the field, yung chemistry. Tapos nahihirapan na rin ako sa chemistry. So, ayun. And fitness naman, I don't have But any... you shifted to statistics, correct? Yeah. Yes. So now you see yourself having a career, a future in statistics. Maybe because my father is in stat as well, so yeah. And then fitness. fitness, well, I don't have a goal in mind. I just want to be healthy. Yes. Okay. Which is a very good goal, actually. <laughs> so maraming salamat, Ange. Paolo, why is watching movies and documentaries better with beer? Some will say that's a crazy, stupid question, but... Nevertheless, Paolo, is it really better with beer? Personally, po sa akin, yes. Kasi I, do, I, don't, I can't explain it, but there's something about this beer that really triggers my mind. Every time I drink it, tapos parang it just keeps on working. Tapos napaprocess ko lahat and parang nagiging malikot siya to, to think. Parang oh, malikot ko is a dangerous thing. <laughs> <laughs> diba? Is that a particular brand of beer without necessarily naming the brand? Is it beer in general? It's a particular brand yeah. of beer. Particular brand of beer. Mm. Tatanoyin ba natin kung ano? Wag na. <laughs> Wag na natin encourage ang ating kabataan na uminom ng beer. <laughs> in any case, maraming salamat Ange and Paolo. Of course, babalik po tayo at ichichikahin natin mamaya si Lester at saka si Yobel. In any case, mamaya na po yan. In the meantime, paghandaan naman natin ang round 2. Susunod na po sa pagbabalik ng k -Chet. At 
Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. After that first round, of course, we have Lester with 80 points, followed by Yobel with 20, Paolo with 10, and Ange with some catching up to do. So we're back to our K Chica. Na alamin natin a little more about our contestants. Although alam ko na si Lester at si Yobel ay actually comebacking contestants natin, di ba? But in any case, Lester, what agency are a, are you a news analyst for? Um, sa Truescope po, handle po namin is yung Singapore Singapore government po. Mm. And why do you need to be a hustler at ang dami mong ginagawa sa buhay mo? Self-supporting student po. Kaya kailangan ko po mag ano, ng mga work para may pampaaral po. And so far, so good. Good naman po. Actually, I have a soft spot in my heart for working students kasi doon sa tinuturuan ko sa College of Law, gustong-gusto kong tinuturuan yung evening students who are all working students. Diba? Mas determinado yung mga yan. So, Yobel naman, ano ba ang meron sa self-help and productivity books? At yun ang mga nakahiligan mong basahin. Um, dito po kasi, I learn things that I don't necessarily learn inside the classroom. So, I get lessons and learnings na I can really apply sa daily life ko. Mm. Saan mo naman hinahanap ang mga books na to? So, yung mom ko rin po, very interested din po siya sa topic na to. So, she has a lot already of books at home. Very good. Sayang at mawawala na ang Reader's Digest. O, di ba? Mawawala na ang Reader's Digest. Yan naman ang aking go-to reading material when I was younger. In any case, thank you very much sa ating mga contestants. And now, it's time for round two. So, contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure to strategize. Kasi sa round na to, correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. So, let's begin. This is round two, and we have question number one. In 2024, who became the first basketball player to score 40,000 points in the NBA regular season? And LeBron James. LeBron James is the correct answer. K check. Question number two. What do you call the defect in the curvature of the eyeball which causes distorted vision? Yes, Paolo. Cataract. Cataract is incorrect. Siguro yung tatlong remaining contestants na may eyeglasses, <laughs> siguro wala kayong astigmatism. Meron, wala? Meron po. Meron. I had to play safe. <laughs> <laughs> In any case, so, astigmatism is the correct answer. Question number three, in typhoons, the PAR or PAR is the smallest monitoring domain whose boundary is closest to the Philippines. What does PAR stand for, Lester? Philippine Area of Responsibility. Philippine Area of Responsibility is the correct answer. K check. Question number four, in what city in Pampanga can you see Aling Lusing's restaurant Dubbed as the birthplace of Sisi. The correct answer is Angeles. Question number five. What term that refers to a person who robs ships at sea is now applied, Lester? Pirates. Yes. The term pirate is now applied to someone who reproduces the work of another for profit without permission. Pirate is the correct answer. K check. Question number six. According to the Royal Museum's Greenwich, what is the time that is exactly between 11 p.m. and 1 a.m.? I'm sorry, but that was after the bell sounded. The correct answer is 12 midnight. Question number seven. What is the title of the 2024 single that gave singer-songwriter Teddy Swims his first Billboard number one hit? Kilala nyo ba si Teddy Swims? No. No. In any case, the answer is lose control. Question number eight. 
What 1899 battle in Ilocos Sur saw 500 American troops defeat a 60-man Filipino rear guard commanded by General Gregorio del Pilar? Lester. Battle of Tirad Pass. Battle of Tirad Pass is the correct answer. K check. Question number nine. In sports this time, what golf equipment can be sorted into woods and irons? Yobel. Clubs. Clubs is the correct answer. K check. Question number ten. What is the general term for the type of weather modification that involves the dropping of crystals into clouds to cause rain? Yobel. Precipitation. Precipitation is incorrect. And Cloud seeding. Cloud seeding is the correct answer. K check. Question number 11. What do you call the popular Japanese dish of vinegared rice and various toppings such as raw fish, vegetables, or eggs? Lester. Sushi. Sushi is the correct answer. K check. Question number 12 and the last question for this round in April 2024. Which music artist broke the 50-year-old mark of the Beatles for being the fastest to achieve 12 number one albums in the UK? Lester. Um, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift is the correct answer. K check. And that's it for round two. Coming off of that round, we have Lester in the lead with 180 points. Followed by Ange in second place with 40 points. Yobel with 30 and Paolo with a lot of catching up to do. Pero kahit na ganun kalaki ang lead ni Lester, hindi pa po tapos ang laban dahil ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. So nagbabalik na po Ang K-Check, at this point, we have Lester in the lead with 180 points, followed by Ange with 40, Yobel with 30, Paolo with a lot of catching up to do. Pero, ay nako, hindi pa natin alam kung sino ang mananalo today dahil paparating pa lang ang ultimate pagalingan round. At sa round na to, correct answers are worth 30 points each, pero may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. For this multiple-choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer, but not the letter only. Sa round din na to, sa ating panel of experts po, manggagaling ang ating mga katanungan. So everything's okay? And we can start? So, let's begin. So to kick off our ultimate pagalingan round, Prof. Glessy, umpisa na natin. Salamat. Okay. Sino ang may akda ng popular na akda na sinasabing kapag ikaw ay nasok sa puso ni Numan, hahamaki ng lahat, masunod ka lang. Lester. Francisco Balagtas. Tutuloy ko. Letter A, Francisco Magallona. Letter B, Francisco Revilla. Letter C, Ferry Baltazar. D, Francisco Baltazar. E, Ferry Tolentino. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, Francisco Baltazar. Ang sagot ni Lester ay Francisco Balagtas. Tinatanggap ang Balagtas at ang Baltasar dahil ito ay ginagamit din para tukuyin ng parehong tao. K-check. Maraming salamat, Prof. Glessy. Prof. Neil. Bukod sa Germany at Japan, anong bansa ang kasama sa original na kolisyon ng mga estado na tinawag na Access Powers? Lester. Italy. Okay. Pinamunuan nito ni Benito Mussolini. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, Italy, K-check. Well, gusto lang natin bangitin na si Lester nasa lumampas na sa 200-point mark. But there are still many points in the remaining in the three remaining rounds. Okay? Prof. Marla. Thank you. In molecular biology, what is the process through which genetic information encoded in DNA is used to synthesize proteins? A. DNA replication B. Transcription C. Translation D. DNA repair E. Genetic recombination 
Lester. C translation. Parang hindi ka sigurado. <laughs> but the correct answer is C translation. K check. Parang ito talagang si Professor Marla. Kakabahan ka talaga. Siguro kabadong kabado sa iyo ang mga estudyante. <laughs> so anyway, after that round, let's begin again with Professor Glassy. Okay, thank you. Anong gusali ang itinanghal noong Setyembre 2022 bilang isang national cultural treasure o isang lokal na bahay na may katangi-tanging halagang historical, kultural, artistiko o scientifico? Letter A, Cultural Center of the Philippines. B, Philippine International Convention Center. C, Folk Arts Theater. D, Army and Navy Club. And E, Fort Santiago. Ang tamang sagot ay Philippine International Convention Center. Maraming salamat, Prof. Glassy. Prof. Neil. Ano ang tawag sa grupo o sanggunian ng mga individual na binuo ni Pangulong Corazon Aquino upang magsulat ng bagong konstitusyon ng bansa noong 1986? A. Citizens Assembly B. Constitutional Assembly C. Constitutional Commission D. Constitutional Convention E. Consultative Committee on Constitutional Reforms or Changes Estudyante ko si Lester sa Contemporary Philippines <laughs> pero hindi niya nakuha ang tamang sagot Letter C, okay. Letter C, Constitutional, Constitutional Commission. Commission. Yeah. Actually, nung bata ako, nagtrabaho ako sa Constitutional Commission. Pero bata pa ako nun. Okay. Thank you, Prof. Neil. Professor Marla. What hormone is produced by the pineal gland? A. Melatonin B. Testosterone C. Insulin D. Estrogen, E. Thyroxine. Nester. D. Estrogen. Mali. Paolo. B. Testosterone. Mali. Ange. Melatonin. Correct answer is A. Melatonin. K. Check. So after that second round, before we proceed to the final half, of our ultimate pagalingan round, Lester is in the lead with 255 points, followed by Ange, who is now in second place with 70 points, with Yobel in third place with 30 points, and Paolo with negative 15 points. So, to start off the second half of our ultimate pagalingan round, Prof. Glessy. Thank you. Ang pangalan ng artistang ito ay tampok sa isang awiting pinasikat ng eraser heads. Ange. Sharon Coneta. Wrong answer. Itutuloy ko. Tumutukoy din sa Musa o isang napakagandang babae o diyosa. Ano ang pangalan ng artistang ito na sumikat noong dekada 50? Letter A, Mengay. Letter B, Aruray. Letter C, Paraluman. Halo. C, Paraluman. Okay. Babalik ako sa pagbabasa. Letter D, Perla. Letter E, Rosita. Ang tamang sagot ay C, Paraluman. K-check. Maraming salamat, Prof. Glassy. Prof. Neil. What is the study of coats of arms? A. Diplomatics B. Heraldry C. Paleography D. Prosopography E. Numismatics Master B. Heraldry Parang bilang dating guru akong kinabahan eh. Pero tamang sagot, letter B. Heraldry K. Check Maraming salamat Prof. Marla. Sa botany, 
which plant tissue type is primarily responsible for photosynthesis and carbohydrate storage in the stem and roots? A. Dermal tissue B. Meristematic tissue C. Vascular tissue D. Parenchyma tissue E. Vascular cambium Walang manguhula. The correct answer is D. Parenchyma tissue. So we're now into our last round for the ultimate pagalingan round. And before we proceed, just a recap. Lester is in the lead with 285 points, followed by Ange with 55, Yobel with 30, Paolo with 15. And with that, let's continue, Prof. Glessy. Sino ang cartoonist? na lumikha ng mga tauhang tulad ni Ikabod, Tisoy, at Aling Otik. Letter A, Nonoy Marcelo. Letter B, Larry Alcala. Letter C, Totet de Jesus. Letter D, Egay Fernandez. Letter E, Carlo J. Caparas. hindi na nila talaga kilala. Ang tamang sagot ay letter A, si Nonoy Marcelo. Salamat, Prof. Neil. Ang kilala nila si Manix Abrera, most likely. Okay. <laughs> Sa anong kagawaran na mumuno si Arsenio Balisakan bilang kalihim? A. DBM B. DOF C, DOJ, D, DTI, E, NEDA. And DTI. Mali. Magagalit si former president. Pascual oh, sa iyo, <laughs> Ang kasulukuyang kalihim ng DTI ay ang former UP President Alfredo Pascual. Si Professor Arsenio Balisakan ay faculty mula sa UP School of Economics na ang toon niya ay poverty studies. Ang joke nga sa kanya, yumaman siya dahil sa poverty studies. <laughs> okay, ang tamang sagot ay letter E, NEDA. NEDA. At ito na nga ang last question for the ultimate pagalingan round. Prof. Marla. Tapusin na natin, Prof. Marla. Okay. Which type of UV radiation causes sunburn? A. UVA B. UVB C. UVC D. UVD E. UVE The correct answer is letter B, UVB. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Akala ko naman ay paaabuti ni Lester ang kanyang score sa 300 mark na rarely natin nare-reach dito. Pero congratulations to Lester, our K-Check Daily Winner with a final score of 285 points. We'll see him again on Friday when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. Thanks also to Ange, Paolo, and Yobel for joining. And of course, to the members of our panel of experts, Prof. Glessy, Prof. Neil, and Prof. Marla. On behalf of Jules Giang, this has been Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check.